Hey guys, so many of you know I prefer to do my nails at home, not only because it saves money, but I also like to be able to lounge on the couch and watch TV and just relax and do them at my own pace. So I've used a ton of gel nail kits, but my favorite one is the Sally Hansen set. The only downside is I wish it had more nail colors to choose from. Now some people say that the light can cause cancer, but so can popcorn, deodorant, hula hoops, and cell phones, so if you don't want to stick your fingers in here nobody is making you but if you do here's how to do it the first step is to use a cotton ball soaked in a bit of acetone or nail polish remover and make sure to remove all old polish and excess oils from your nails then we're going to grab a cuticle remover and you can get this at a drugstore or my favorite one is by Deborah Littman but I'm out of that one massage it onto your cuticles and let it sit for about 15 seconds then take an orange stick and gently push back the cuticles I don't like to cut my cuticles because that sliver of skin actually serves a very important purpose and that is to keep bacteria and infection out of your fingers so don't go chopping it off just push it back a little bit then you want to wash your hands with warm soapy water now it's time to get the length and shape right so if you want to cut your nails do it now but I'm just filing them down a bit because they were already short and when you're filing make sure to move in one direction because sawing back and forth can cause weak nails that split and break then you want to buff out each of your nails and repeat these steps on the other hand and your thumbs then apply a nail primer to your nails to make sure that all the excess oil is gone and this will also help your gel last longer then apply one thin layer of gel base coat and the most important thing I can say in this entire video is make sure you cap off your nails on each layer of polish. That means running the brush along the exposed edge of your nail to seal and lock in the gel. This will help with lifting and make your nails last way longer. Then you want to cure the base coat for 30 seconds. Now pick your color and apply a thin coat to your nails and don't forget to cap them off. I'm using the color Back to the Fuchsia, but I'm also loving Commander in Chic, which is a gorgeous grayish, and Cherry Cherry Bang Bang, which is a pretty poppy plum. So cure this coat for 30 seconds, then apply another layer just like that, cure it for 30 more seconds. Then move on to the top coat, and this is the same as the rest, except you want to make sure that you cure it for 60 seconds instead of the usual 30. Now repeat this on your other hand hands and your thumbs and you're almost done. Just take a lint-free pad and some alcohol or you can buy these gel polish cleanser pads and rub it over your nails to get off any excess stickiness. Last but certainly not least, you need to moisturize your cuticles. So I like using the Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter from Lush. Then rub the cleanser pad over your nails once more to keep them nice and shiny and you're all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!